When you think Subaru, you probably think of their popular Outback or Forester. Their Impreza compact sedan probably doesn't jump to mind. After all, competitors like the Honda Civic, Hyundai Elantra, and Chevy Cruze far outsell it. But the redesigned 2017 Impreza is actually very, very important to Subaru. All future Subarus, including the upcoming mid-sized three-row SUV, are going to be based off of the new platform that's introduced right here. That means that the Impreza shows us where Subaru is heading in the future. First off, safety remains a priority. The new structure is much stronger, aimed to improve on the previous car's already impressive crash test results. Easy visibility is another Subaru hallmark. The windows are large and the windshield pillars, they're pretty narrow. A backup camera is standard and blind spot monitoring is available. Subaru's popular camera-based EyeSight safety suite, including forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking, is now optional on all but the most basic Impreza's. We do wish the safety gear was standard on all cars, just like it is on a lowly Toyota Corolla. Practicality is another Subaru strong suit. A longer wheelbase makes for a spacious rear seat. Get past the sedan's short trunk opening and there's good room inside. Lots of Impreza buyers go for the hatchback instead, which now has a wider opening to its cargo bay. So Subaru has logical things like practicality and safety down pat. But the brand wants to make cars that are well, just more nice, that are less utilitarian. Those changes start outside. Gone is the slab-sided styling of the previous car. The new car is more sculpted, going for a lower, wider, longer look. But it doesn't sacrifice practicality. Inside, the cabin is much less spartan, with more soft-touch surfaces and stitched details. The front seats are more supportive, too. Subaru has also improved their infotainment systems. All have standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. While a 6.5-inch screen is standard, this is the top-end system with its 8-inch screen. On-screen buttons are big, and the screen is easy to reach. Thing is, though, a nicer interior doesn't count for much if a car feels chintzy to drive. It turns out that the new, stronger platform gives the Impreza a newfound feeling of substance that it's never really had before. Imprezas have long ranked among the best riding compact cars. This one sticks to that tradition, soaking up imperfect roads with ease. We're glad that Subaru broke their tradition of having too much road noise. Thicker glass and better insulation makes for a relatively quiet cabin. Pair the solid feeling with the composed ride and controlled noise, and you wind up with a car that masks highway speed very well. Steering is quick and responsive, although it doesn't deliver the same driver connection as a Volkswagen Golf or Mazda 3. Over the years, the Impreza has defined the word sport in a lot of different ways. Models like the Impreza Outback Sport and Impreza Sport define sports as those outdoorsy things you did with these hatchbacks. They featured two-tone paint and a bit more ground clearance. But the popular Crosstrek now fully assumes this role, and it will eventually move to the new platform. Now the Impreza Sport defines sport as being sporty. That explains the red stitching inside, black trimmed 18-inch wheels, and an overdone spoiler. But it doesn't really drive much differently from the normal Impreza. It also has the same 152 horsepower from the same engine, an updated 2-liter flat 4. It gets the job done helped by a retuned continuously variable transmission, or CVT. Compared to normal automatics, CVTs can help fuel economy, but often their throttle response feels non-linear. Instead, the Impreza shifts like a regular automatic during brisk acceleration, keeping the engine from revving high and reducing engine noise. You can also get a manual transmission. You'll notice that I've gone all the way through this video without mentioning the all-wheel drive that comes standard on every Impreza. That's a big draw for owners who live down dirt roads, or where it snows, or who do things outdoors. But Subaru's sales have exponentially grown in the last 10 years. That means that cars like the Impreza need to appeal to people who live where it doesn't snow, who don't own kayaks or hiking boots. It means that having all-wheel drive has to come without having a sacrifice. One place where all-wheel drive usually costs you is at the gas pump. EPA fuel economy for the automatic Impreza sedan is 32 miles per gallon overall, tying the Mazda 3. Another place where all-wheel drive typically costs you is in your pocketbook. But the Impreza's all-wheel drive doesn't really come with a price premium. 
A base 2.0i sedan with an automatic costs $20,215. That's similar to a Honda Civic LX or a comfortably equipped Hyundai Elantra SE. Going with a mid-level premium sedan and adding eyesight and blind spot monitoring brings the price to $23,410. Appropriately enough, the fifth door adds 500 bucks more. Getting a Sport adds a push button ignition, the bigger touchscreen, and all those go faster looking bits. The Limited adds a power driver's seat, leather, and automatic climate control. This top trim Limited hatchback with eyesight, the Harman Kardon stereo, and a moonroof costs $29,260. That seems like a lot, but a loaded Volkswagen Golf, or Mazda 3, or Chevy Cruze hatchback costs about the same. The Impreza suggests a bright future for Subaru, combining the brand's traditional values of safety and practicality with newfound levels of refinement and, well, just plain niceness. For more on compact cars, check out ConsumerReports.org.